Welcome. This is Death at the HOA. Uh, if you haven't seen this stream before, this is something that we just started last week. This is stream number two. Uh, we are going to write a web series together. Now, things are a little bit different today because I am using uh, Streamlabs OBS, which is going to be, I think, a little bit fancier than just the regular OBS thingy. Or that's what I'm led to believe. So we should have, if we go to the writing window, I'm Jim, by the way, I'm Jim Hodgson. Welcome to the scene shop uh, writing stream. Let's go to the writing scene. So now we should be able to see chats here. Yeah, look at there. Look at Chad chatting away. Get him, Chad. So now your chats are going to appear right on the stream. Is that exciting or what? I'm thrilled. Yep, now everybody's yelling at me. Well done, guys. <laughs> okay. Now, if you saw uh, stream number one, uh, you know that we are, well, we got a couple of pages done. So I feel like if we can get, if we can get three or four pages done per stream, then it's only gonna take us, you know, 30 streams or so to write five, five 20 minute, Episodes of a website, a web series would be 100 pages. So yeah, 30 something. But if we need to fill in, you know, between there, we can. Why is it making... It, it, it seems like your names are disappearing faster than I would like for them to. Maybe I can change that. So anyway, I just want you guys to bear with me a little bit because uh, today's going to be a little bit weird. Uh, how do I tell it? to keep your names around a little bit longer. Maybe that'll do it. I just clicked a button. Maybe that'll fix it. But anyway, I'm really enjoying this and uh, you guys seem pretty charged up about it. So um, I'm pretty stoked. And uh, Talano suggests that we could film it during the stream. Um, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, but we'll give it a try. Okay, so as you can see, uh, oh, and a lot of you have joined. Um, you can find in our Discord chat the link to join the writer duet. So you can, uh, you can, you should be able to see this, uh, see the document getting edited as we go along. Um, I don't have any like affiliation with writer duet or anything, so we may change later on. So just be prepared for that shit. As for this. Uh, this jar thing over here. I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm hoping to add some doodads um, that could help convince people to give us money to uh, to make this. Um, you know, it'd be great. It'd be a lot of fun. But first, of course, we got to write it. So let's work on that. Let's see here. Not that. You. Come here. Okay. Now... Here's what I've been thinking. Uh, you might want to go and, um, it might not be bad just to read the first sort of four pages to know where we are. That's what I've just been doing over the last couple of minutes. Um, it's annoying that it, it doesn't really show your name over there, isn't it? How do I fix that? Oh, well. It just seems to show like, what if I make this a little bit smaller? Will it show more names? Uh, you guys see names? Yeah, it just seems like it's like Talanos' name seems shortened to just Talon. <laughs> I happen to know that that's not it. All right, well, let's let's write, for God's sakes. Let's not screw around with these stupid widgets all day long. I, I'll figure out something to do next time. Oh, I could move this. I could move the writing window and get that dumb jar out of there. And then we could make it as big as we wanted to. I want people to have their recognition. I want you guys to feel like you're, because you are, you know, part of this whole schlemiel. Let's get rid of you. And now let 
Let's get this. Move that over there. How does it feel to watch this happening in real time, guys? Riveting is the word that you would use, I'm sure. Let's see here. Now I'm going to make you wider. How about that? I'm wide enough already. <laughs> you guys. Always riffing. Was that too wide? No, it's perfect. All right, so now we should be able to see people's names. Let's do some writing, for God's sakes. Uh, also, I noticed um, when I was screwing around after last week's stream that um, it looks like the... Twitter, or no, I mean, uh, Twitch and YouTube have unfucked themselves. So this will be the first of our videos that goes on to, uh, that goes on to YouTube. So people will be able to see it forever. Um, anyway. Does that work? Yeah. Doesn't that look nice? Now we should put ourselves in a, um, we should put ourselves in like a library or something so that there are books visible behind us. But anyway. Okay, so we're learning that our former HOA president, Jerry, is dead. He's dead. Um, HO Muth, there is a link on, uh, in the Discord, there's a pinned link in the uh, Death at the HOA channel that will get you there. Uh... I think you just tried to post a link and it didn't let you. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, and it may, if you got to be like, I, I, I don't know what you have to do to be able to post a link. I think you have to be one of our, I don't know, bosom buddies or something like that. We have to, I don't know, something. But let's see. Uh, so we did do some work on laying out our characters. There you go. You figured it out. So we did some work on laying out our characters in the last stream. Um, I'm thinking in my mind, guys. I'm thinking in my mind that this the flipper is going to end up being the murderer. What do you guys think about that? Uh, this is the flipper character, Philippa. I'm thinking that she's going to end up be the murder, being the murderer. Um, we'll see. Okay. Let's move on. So, there's not a ransom. He's dead. He was a lovely man. Maybe she would say something like, um, Yeah, she will be a woman. As all women are. Thomas thinks that'd be a good false suspect. Well, let's be open. Let's be open to it. Let's let's see how it shakes out. Which is my way of saying, let's do it my way. But for now, I just want to get through this moment where you had a good idea. <laughs> That's the way I'm going to defer that. So what I want here is I'm changing her line. I'm changing her line here because I want her to uh, have sort of a serious moment here. So there's not a ransom. He's dead. He was a lovely man. And then, I, and then I want her to be in the middle of suggesting. Let's all just take a quiet moment to interrupt. Now I want someone to scream out. Who's going to be the next HOA president? Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. I want this to, um, well, I want to include some elements of um, making fun of Game of Thrones. Um, and I want the sort of the competition to be the next HOA president to be kind of like that, to be like, you know, like people fighting and intrigue and all that stuff. What do you guys think? So I'm thinking of calling... 
instead of the Iron Throne, here's here's what I think. I think it should be called the Flat Pack Throne because <laughs> it's like an Ikea chair, but we don't want to say Ikea. Oh, we could say the Ikea Throne. Actually, that would be kind of funnier. The bronze stool. That's funny. I had a bronze stool once after a lot of gold slugger. Okay. Who's going to be the next HOA president? So I think um, the, no <laughs> the linoleum podium says <laughs> CJ. That's funny. This is too much input for me. I'm finding it hard to write. Um, okay. So we talked about having, we talked about having the series take place over the course of a year. Uh, the trouble with that is uh, it'll be harder to film because you'll need seasons, even here where I live in Atlanta. Now, if it was set in uh, LA, you wouldn't, or you could just ignore that and not care. Um, not in California, says Voodoo 463. Yeah, you're exactly right. So maybe it shouldn't be a year. I just thought it would be funny to have it go uh, over the course of a year. So I'm thinking that it's like um, just cheat and have most things. Yeah, that makes sense. Internal. Yeah, we could do that. Um, I'm thinking like 30 days. So I'm thinking like Roland says here. Uh, something like. Yeah. The bylaws. Who was our stoner idiot guy? Brody? Yeah. Uh, is that... Could you guys remind me if that is what... Um, what was... Uh, what was Skywalker yelling? Uh, I don't want to spoil the latest Star Wars for you, but what was he yelling about? Was it the sacred texts? Is that what he was saying? The sacred texts! Yeah. That's what I want. Uh. Voice of awe. The sacred texts. Uh. That was the second to most recent Star Wars. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so what position did she hold previously? I think she was like the... Um, uh, she was the social chair. Uh, sacred Jedi texts. Well, we can't use that word, obviously, but thank you for uh, confirming that. <laughs> uh, hey, it's Jonathan Wallace. What's up, pal? Thanks for coming. Uh, as HOA social chairperson, I will serve as an 
then there will be an election. Um, what do you guys think? Should there be an election or should there be some other weird uh, way of coming up with... I think, I think we have to do election, but here's what I'm thinking. Um, I want to, I want to parody the, um, sorry, my wife was just calling me on the phone. I want to parody the, um, Game of Thrones and there's no, you don't get elected, uh, uh, to, to sit on the Iron Throne. You just kill everybody or... Really, you just the, the show didn't have an ending. It was just garbage at the end. So I feel like there's got to be I feel like there's got to be some uh, method of deciding who the who the next president is going to be. I think it has to be an election. We'll see what you guys think. I'm, uh, let me read the chat here. What do you say, chat? How about confirm sacred text by low state the sacred texts. We can throw out a three else here to get closer to the like surprise. The bios were copyrighted from bullets from the early 1900s. That's funny. If the bylaws were. That's funny. Some neighborhoods with HOAs are covenant communities, which could have all sorts of weird ideas, laws. Yeah, that's how ours is. Uh, we have covenants, and there are lots of dumb, 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 dumb rules that we can't get rid of. We can't get rid of them. Um, because you have to have a certain number of houses vote together in order to get rid of the dumb rules, but you can never get that many people's attention because, I mean, you can, you can go to their house, you can tell them, I need, you, you can't get them to do it. They won't do it. And so, like, out of 100 houses, you can only ever, like, the max you could ever get is, like, 30 or 40 houses on board to even read what you're talking about. And if you need 50 or 60 houses, which in our neighborhood's case... You, you do, you can't get, even though the rules are stupid and everybody hates the rules and everybody complains the rules, you cannot get them to help you fix it. You just can't. So, um, HOA leadership is passed on by bloodline. I think that's, that's funny, but we want it to be like, uh, um, uh, like Jerry didn't have an heir. What if it's like, uh, um, had to be an election, but they can certainly treat it like Game of Thrones combat. Yeah, for sure. Um, maybe that's just what they deal with. Like instead of, uh, instead of killing people, they're like going around trying to get other neighbors uh, involved. Like a duel at sunup, but they're like, man, we got to figure out a different way. Yeah. Is there like a chain of command, like vice president, secretary? Uh, yeah, so maybe it's like, um, I, I think it does, it does have to be an election and it's like, we'll just deal with all of the stuff like, uh, fraud and, you know, all of those things. He has a bastard son in Winnipeg. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. A talent show. Uh, that's a really good idea. I, I like a talent show. I mean, you could fold that into the election idea. Like, I'm going to put on, we're going to put on a talent show. And that way, uh, you know, yeah, Jonathan says that's essentially what all elections are anyway. That's, yeah. An HOA election gives me serious high school class president. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Exactly right. So, yeah. Um, we want it to be dumb. <laughs> we want it to be dumb, but we want these people to take it like deadly seriously. Uh, uh, and then somebody will give Brody the side eye. Who will, who will shush him? Probably that serious couple. Who are they? The Tates. Shush. 
Brody does have a last name, right? We gave him one. Yeah, Charleston. Okay. You can't use speakers or you violate the sound rules. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, I love the idea of having people go back and forth about what the bylaws say because that's 100% what people do in our neighborhood. I mean, it is bonkers. Bonkers. For example, you can't have... Like, here in our neighborhood, you can't have a boat. You can't have a boat if if it's parked before the front the front plane of your house. So like if you draw a line from the very front of your house, your boat has to be parked behind that line. But our house is on a corner lot. So you can see all the way around our house. So we're not allowed to have a boat or a trailer or anything like that because they're That's funny. This is a 30 day election campaign, etc. It feels like all the dumb rules enforcing by the campaign is the main game. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that it'll just give us a, a, a reason to be going to go around the neighborhood meeting a bunch of weirdos that we won't have to do a lot of character development for. The only trouble with that is uh, the only trouble with that is uh, that just pumps up the cast. So we got to think about. Uh, the shootability of the idea. We we don't want to have, you know, it'd be great if you could get this done with five, six people. Uh, and the more, the more people you add is the more phone calls you got to make and the more schedules you got to whatever and all that stuff. So let's keep that in mind. But you can still include people by saying like, I mean, you, you know, you, we could do people by Zoom. We can have them uh, included by Zoom or just read their emails or whatever. Excuse me, had a little burpee. Okay, as HOA social chairperson. So maybe we need to like um, set up the the absurdity of the um, of the bylaws here. Oh, we forgot about Rick. Maybe that's who needs to say that. No, I like Philippa for that. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we're. I wasn't planning on having uh, boomers necessarily specifically because boomers are now uh, they're like 60, 70s. Um, I'm 45 and my parents were boomers to give you an idea of how old boomers are. Um, let's see. You see, at the time, so, uh, so I'm thinking that while Rick drones on, we cut to like the Tates and they can plot a little bit. What do you guys think? Tight on the Tates.
Uh, actually, Rick. Uh, Rick is older. He's 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 a boomer. Rick is a boomer. Um, did we do a freeze frame on Rick? We'll do it right here. Okay, guys, we're gonna satisfy your lust for boomers. All right, chill out. <laughs> Um, they can't stay once they become AARP members. Will they age out like Menudo? That's funny. Except instead of 18, it's 78. Or it should be however old Menudo is now. And that should be written into the bylaws. If you're older than any, any member of anyone who was ever in Menudo, then you're out. <laughs> Does anybody remember what Menudo is? No. No, you don't. Okay. Um... Chat, I need you. Rick Freeze Frame is page two, says CJ. That's page. Is it? Yes, you're so right. Well done. She has saved my ass more times than I can count. Yeah. Okay. Good call. Um, why are you blue? I wonder. Nobody knows. Okay. Tight on the Tates. Who are our two Tates? Shannon Tate and Terry Tate. Shannon is the male Tate, I think. As I recall, oops. Get back here. Damn it. Come on, fingers, work with me. There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking So how do we get out of this little mini scene? You know how much I want this. I don't think we need the that's my wheelhouse. I 
have all the name recognition. Yeah. Yeah, we need a joke here. But I still, I mean, they're, they got a, Yeah, we have we do have a backstory about the towel. It is on uh it's here on at the bottom of page two. Right there. I have the bigger face. <laughs> That's a great line. Oh, that's a good thought, uh, CJ. If we l reveal later that the story that she tells about how she got the nickname isn't true. Um, yeah. She does that butt floss thing with the towels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, she had a, um, yeah, or she like used to wipe her butt with a towel or something like that. And, and people found out. Yeah. Something terribly scandalous. I'm thinking. She mistrusted a fart and had to wear a towel as a diaper. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Air 1971. If she runs for HOA Press, that could be her slogan. I won't throw in the towel. I dig it. Okay, so. We'll elect a new president. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna check up on the chat. I have the bigger face. That was a great call, Momo Siegel. He knows how she got the children's nickname. She had a bidet, it was a huge misunderstanding, sure. Yeah, all right. I'm officially caught up on the chat.
Okay. I think we need to I think we need to see a plot from everybody except Philippa. I think maybe we need a moment um we need a moment where Philippa's like uh Yeah. Something like this. Maybe because I want I want there to it to be like no, you're disqualified because uh, you're disqualified because you don't live in the neighborhood. So, like, she owns the house but doesn't live in the neighborhood. Something like that. She doesn't even go here. Yeah, exactly. Just have it come from a random voice in the crowd. Yeah. Is this? What if we get out by doing something like this? Can't help it. I heart mean girls. Yeah, well, written by Tina Fey. Hard to go wrong there. a pack of rolling papers. Maybe it's his keys. Uh, or maybe he's wearing like a shitty visor. Okay. Now I think uh so I think now Roland will leave. And now I'm thinking that she runs into somebody outside.
And I'm thinking that it's like, uh, like maybe there should be somebody who's like her, who's like on her, who's like on her side, maybe and like somebody who's on her team. Um, like, a um, somebody like that. I'm thinking like a, um, uh, CJ says, Rolanda is an island of reason beset on all sides by dummies. Yeah. Exactly. Momo Siegel says, what if she secretly lives on a boat in someone's driveway and really she's most affected by what happens in the neighborhood? Yeah, I was planning on, uh, yeah, something like that. But I'm thinking of having a moment. Well, what I want to get to is, um, I guess now we have a moment where we learn more about who Okay. Something like that. And then, uh, What would she call him? Something. Jerry. Something like that. Shot of so I'm I want Philip to, to like to be in Jerry's face, like, what? What? You're not you're gonna tell me it's not sad when you jack off? And then Brody's like ah, and like runs away. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, let's read through what we've got so far. I think we might be out of our first scene, gang. Let's read through where we started today. Uh, yeah, here we go. Can we bold this? Oh, shit. It's bolded. Okay. Who's going to be the next HOA president? Well, funnily enough, the bylaws have something about this. Hold on a second. The sacred text. Tate's shush, Brody. As HOA social chairperson, I will serve as acting HOA president for 30 days, and then there will be an election. The social chair? Really? That's what it says. Yes, that's right. You see, at the time the bylaws were written... Rick drones on in the background. 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking, hun? You're damn right. I'm going to be the next HOA pre What? Hun, you know how much I want this. Hun, please, think electability. I have all the name recognition. I have the bigger face. And that's why nobody should ever, ever park on the street. Safety. Okay, I don't think we needed all of that, but yeah, 30 days back here, we'll elect a new president, right? Yeah, oh, we didn't have a right there. Uh, so any homeowner can be president, right? You don't even live here, but I own a home. Get out of here, flipper. Brody throws a shitty visor like golf assholes wear. Yeah, flip the flipper, flip the flipper. Flip the flipper. Uh. All right, end of our first scene. Is Philip a big, tough club or elegant, dangerous stiletto? Uh, I think she's like, um, wow, telling us. I don't know what that was. I don't know what you did, but it appears magical. Well done to you, sir. Uh, I'm thinking that she's small, like, um, I think that she's, she's like a physically small person. Um, like a, she's like a real estate person. So like she's into her, she's into her appearance, um, nice clothes, nails, that kind of thing. Um, uh, and it's my opinion that she's going to end up being the, the murderer, like, Maybe um, Jerry figured something out about her ownership of the house and something that she had to kill him for that reason or whatever. We'll work all that out later. But that it's my opinion that she's probably going to end up being the killer. Um, but maybe we'll have her get away with it because that'll be funny. And then like the rest of the neighborhood will have to live with a killer. Lucy Lou. Yeah, somebody like that. Somebody like that. Okay, so... Um, what should our next scene be? I'm thinking that we have like, um, I'm thinking that we need to learn a little bit about, about who Roland is. So I'm thinking about a scene of her at home. Um, maybe she gets home and there's like, um, we could just have a minute or two of her at home and then a uh, policeman like uh, calls or comes by or something like that. Because we want, we want the stakes to be high. What page are we on? Seven. So I feel like we want, I feel like we want to see a police person for some reason. Or maybe we have her, uh, we can add a police character. Yeah, somebody like that. Someone is dating a wannabe cop. That's a great idea. I love the idea of somebody who's like a, a you know, yeah, like a mall security person who's like knows all, about, like wants to talk all in police procedure language, but isn't actually anybody. But so I'm thinking of something like, um, uh, shots of Roland at her home. She makes a mug of tea. Uh, we'll need to answer the question of why she's alone. I think her partner probably passed away. Um, uh, 
like uh, we won't we won't overtly say that this person's passed away. I'm leaving it open right now whether her partner is uh, male or female. Could go either way. Um, uh, he watched every episode of Law and Order. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I'm just thinking like all this stuff could happen really fast. Like this is basically a montage. It could be no more than, uh, you know, like a minute or so. Um, yeah, but Roland's a little bit older. So I think by her age, she would have, I don't think, I think she would have landed somebody. What of Roland and her partner smiling at one another? Roland. Looking at Jerry's Facebook page. Everyone's saying how they miss him. Maybe Jerry was her second chance. No, I think Jerry's like lots older. Everyone's saying how they miss him. Um, I mean, I want to show here that she's upset about the fact that the guy's gone. Like she's trying, she's like reminding herself like, and then what happens? Who, who comes over? Maybe. What about this? What if we see a, the next thing that we see is a police person who's age appropriate for Roland. And maybe there's a, Maybe there's a potential, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's a cougar. Yeah, kind of. But no, I'm saying like this person would be age appropriate for her. Um, the doorbell rings. I'm thinking. Or would it be a phone call? I think it has to be the doorbell. Otherwise, we're not going to see the person. Uh, what is our actual police person's name? Just an aged out stripper who dressed as a cop. That's funny, but... What's our police person's name? Focus, chat. Focus. Come on, you can do it. Justin is his name. Okay. Calvin Rodriguez. Bob Wiggins. Riley. He's Irish. I don't know any Irish actors. <laughs> you know that. Justin Riley. I don't know any redheaded actors. You know that. <laughs> uh, okay, Justin Riley's fine by me. We'll just call him Justin. Okay, how about this? Uh... Uh, here's a moment for you. Milk. Yeah. <laughs> 
She sighs and relaxes with a mug of wine. I don't know how you would do that. Unless it was a see-through. Something like that. But anyway, wine. Pour wine into mug toast photo. Great suggestion. Great suggestion. <laughs> Out of a barrel into a mug, she makes herself. Okay. Uh, so I want this, I want her to be, I want it to be, um, <laughs> please never give me context for the top of this page, says Chad. Yeah. I imagine there will be a lot of those moments as we're going through this. Uh, where is this happening? Uh, let's see. Did we think of a name for our town? If not, that's important. Uh, those of you who read the script just today, did anybody see a name of the town? Because if we don't have one, we need one. Are they strangers? Yeah. Um, everybody pitch town names. Oh, that's right. No, that's knob cobbler is the name of the subdivision. We need a town that it's near like, uh, or a county. So he can say, I'm with the whatever. Holds. Uh. Uh, what about this? Something like that. Uh, 
I like Dry Creek. Let's see. I'm going to look at all of these. Some wag wrote Knob Kubler. Yeah, I'm that wag. I'm embarrassed to tell you. Duncanville. Braithwaite County. Uh, I like Braithwaite. That was the... Um, there was a guy named Braithwaite in uh, Enter the Dragon. I remember because... Um, Bruce Lee had a lot of trouble saying the name Braithwaite. But he soldiered on anyway, because he was Bruce Lee and he feared nothing. Duncanville is the name of the town I grew up in. Dry Creek, Sacred Sage. Roswell. Shady Brook in East Brown Barrel County. Oh, it would be good to have a GOT style name. Um, what would that be? I don't know. I like Braithwaite. Let's go with that for now. Uh, why is he coming over? Everyone says it differently too. That's funny. If it's Braithwaite and everybody, and everybody has a different way of saying it. Like some people say Brithwati or Braithwaite or Bruthwoot. Yeah. Yeah. May I ask a question? I've been searching for info on how to structure a complete series season arc, and I've found nothing. Um, basically, uh, I, I'm not sure how to say your name, Vico Friedley, I'm guessing. Um, I think of it like a fractal. So, like, we have this big, we have the big arc, and then we have smaller arcs, and then we have sub arcs down to the scene level. So it's like they all kind of, they all go together. Um, but it's shaped like, basically like anything else. So like we're in act one of the whole, we're, this, this cop showing up is going to be the inciting incident of our main arc. Unless you consider the, the death to be the inciting incident. But we're, we're about to learn something crazy. Like uh, the toxicology, like it's going to be like uh, the toxicology report showed that, um, yeah, it just, it, 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 you know, this is probably nothing, but um, this is what this policeman is about to say. He's going to say, oh, look, it's probably nothing, but uh, there were a few weird things about uh, the report. And then it's like, uh, well, why did you do... Yeah, that's, that's where I'm headed, CJ. So, like, you know, well, why did you do a... I mean, why would you do a toxicology report anyway? I mean, it's, it seems... I mean, you know, he was an old older gentleman, usually... Yeah, well, it's just that he had so much money or something like that. Or uh, he was... Um, when he was younger, he was a, a, he was a spy or he was, uh, you know, something like that. There's some reason why they did something like that. Um, but I want it to be like, I want him to be like, look, this is just, this is just routine. Uh, there's no, uh, anything. Um, but you know, we did, there is this weird little thing. So something like that. So let your minds uh, run along those lines. Um. 
So let's get through this. Let's let's take a swing at this moment, and then we'll call it good for for stream number two. What do you guys say? We're on page seven, which is not too bad. What did we say his last name was? Riley. Um, That's grape tea. What was Jerry's last name? Did we say? Somebody flip through and see if we have a last name for Jerry. Not yet. Okay. So what is his last name? Uh, Crawford is good. That's one that just went by. Need to remember that. Oh. Where did we do? Okay. Jerry Gary. <laughs> Shame on you for suggesting that. Shame. Uh, so here's what I want. I want to get to a moment where we do one of those freeze frames with titles. But we do it uh, for Jerry's corpse. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh. What did he do for a living? Uh, 
Yeah, she's calling him Mr. Crawford because he's dead, though. Not just Jerry. She's she's uh, she's reminding people to be a little bit more formal because he's passed away. Um. One, two, three, four. Address street, because I can't remember the name of the street. It was Prosperous Lane, right? Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to put in Jerry's occupation. Because I think that later on, I think later on that's going to come out. And it's going to make, it's going to make some sense. Shot of Jerry's legs, body obscured by Kitchen Island. That's funny. Why would you drag him home, though? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay. Wait, where were we just? fly crawls up his nose maybe no he died outside I'm thinking uh, I, well I've been thinking outside all this time but that doesn't have to be the case maybe inside maybe out we'll work that out later Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a good point, but there's probably an, um, I'm sure there's an after effects thing of a fly crawling around something. So that shouldn't be too bad. Outside is more considerate. So true. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end the stream here because we've been doing this for an hour and 15 minutes now. And my butt is getting tired of sitting on this chair. My butt. Um, here are things to think of for next time. Um, what is this conversation about? between uh, Justin and Roland. I think it's about, uh, we learn that there's some reason, well, like uh, we maybe learn a little bit about Jerry's history. Like uh, maybe he had, uh, um, he was a spy or he's rich or he was himself a murderer or maybe we learned something really stupid about him. Like uh, he was himself a real estate flipper and maybe there's like this, uh, Maybe there's a um maybe he was a, a maybe he was a real estate flipper, but he was a member of this like crazy um uh, order where um people are use being real estate flippers as cover for being uh you know international assassins. Uh so he so he was a flipper, yeah, but that was his cover for being an assassin. Uh that could be something that we figure out later. But anyway, keep all that in your mind. Uh thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jim Hodgson. Uh, so keep all that stuff in your mind and chew on it until next Monday. Now, on Wednesday, we're going to have the joke writing stream, multi-log. And on Friday, we will do uh, sketch desk. All these happen at 3 o'clock uh, Eastern time. And I could move the time, by the way. This seems to be working, but I could always move the time if there's like some time that um, you guys would rather have. 
Uh, we do all chat in the Discord all the time. You can find the link to the Discord at sceneshop.us. If you're participating here, do stop by there because in the Death to HOA channel, there is a link to uh, to join this uh, this writer duet page. And that's how you'll eventually get credit uh, for uh, working on this, as if your name is in that list. Uh, feel free and feel encouraged to check out my work at jimhodson.com or readmyfuckingbooks.com. You can find all of my previous stuff. Love to have you buy a book. Uh, what else? Thank you. Uh, we also have a Patreon, and I need to work on some. Um, I need to work on some like graphics and stuff for the stream. But we also have a Patreon. I'd love to have you uh, your support there. Uh, that's gonna help get this made. And I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a. I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna set up a PayPal address so that we could take uh, donations uh, for this. Uh, I would like to eventually get it made. Obviously. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, thank you for, uh, I think like tips and, uh, I'm not sure how all this Twitch monetization stuff works. So, uh, pardon me for that, but I will figure it out. I think that we get, I don't know how the twits, twits and bits and cheers and all that business works, but we'll figure it out together. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah. And listen to uh, bad gladiator. Uh, you can find that on our website or at badgladiator.com. Um, yeah. But come by and um, chat with us in the Discord. If you're working on stuff, we'd love to workshop it with you and all that kind of thing. Anyway, I will see you on Monday, or excuse me, on Wednesday for the joke writing stream. You're the best, everybody. <laughs>